there will be a presentation at the end of the course. There's no exams, no tests. Uh, the purpose of the presentation is basically effective field theory is a very broad topic and there's no chance we'll be able to cover every possible thing about effective field theory in this course. In particular, a lot of applications we'll have to be brief on. So, or, or we won't touch on at all. So if you look at the syllabus, pick one of these topics, prepare it, and stand up and lecture to the class. And the idea is that basically you will teach the class for half an hour or so about one of these topics, and in that way we will broaden the scope of things that we'll be able to cover. This list is, even this long list is not complete. Uh, and you can also pick a topic that's not on this list. If you so even if you just look at this list, you kind of see the breadth of the idea of effective field theory, how broadly it impacts uh, physics, when particle physics in particular. So, you know, everything from finite temperature QCD, finite density, effective field theories of inflation, popular these days. Effective field theories of cold atoms, also very popular these days. Non-relativistic QCD, production of quarkonia, both in medium, out of medium. Relativistic superfluids, conformal effective field theories, the list goes on and on, lattice effective field theories. So it's a very broad topic. And what I'm going to do in this course is I'm going to start out with the first half of the course teaching you about the ideas of effective field theory, some of the basic ingredients that go into all effective field theories, and, and some more technical things that should only show up in some effective field theories, but that are kind of providing you with lessons if you had to ever construct your own effective field theory. That's the idea of the first half of the course. The second half of the course, I'm going to focus on a particular effective field theory, soft collinear effective field theory, which is an effective field theory that's close to my heart. <laughs> Uh, but it's uh, exciting these days because of its applications to jet physics and the LHC. 